otter Europe. Is it worth a visit? Maybe you know the Sea Otter Classic from California. Well, the Sea Otter Europe is the European version of it. And we're on our way there to check it out. We've never been, and we want to see if it's worth it. And I'm taking you along. We got up really early because it's a six hour drive from where we live to the festival, which is in the northern part of Spain. So we drove through Spain and had some amazing sunrise views in the morning. We've always wanted to come to the festival, but until recently we lived on the island Mallorca, so coming to the mainland for a festival was not really feasible. But now that we do live on the mainland, we thought we'd check it out. We arrived around 1ish, so there were no parking spots available, but luckily we have an off-road truck, but if you don't, I recommend arriving early or parking farther away or using public transport to get here. When we arrived, we first used the plans and the program to plan our day and to get an overview, because there's lots going on simultaneously, so it's super smart to plan your day. Of course, events like this one are always a great opportunity to meet with people who you usually only know from the internet. And, well, to be honest, I love it when people ask me for pictures. And I also met Daniel, who's an athlete of mine, and he said... My entrenadora de técnica favorita. No sabes cómo me he acordado de ti esta semana. Sí, porque me la paso entera en un bike park y bajaba más rápido y más seguro que el año pasado. Digo, esto será culpa de Roxy. Soy culpable, lo siento. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vais? Muy bien. Hola, ¿cómo estáis? Bien, bien, bien. After having strolled through the amazing area, which is much bigger than we thought, we're having a short break and then we're gonna go on a test ride. The amazing thing here is you can test so many different brands. And I, as a coach, try to ride different brands regularly because every bike, every bike rides differently. So knowing this and adapting my skills really helps me then coach my clients better. And if you're not a coach, then just riding different bikes helps you find your perfect fit. Because after all, just like you're individual and I'm individual, every bike is individual and finding a bike that really matches you is just a gift. And these festivals are a super amazing opportunity for exactly that. Bernie wanted to test BH bike, so we signed up for a test ride with this Spanish brand. The amazing thing about Sea Otter is that you get to test all sort of bikes out in real life trail situations. So it's not only a small spin on a parking lot, there are signposted routes for all disciplines, road, gravel, mountain bike, and e-mountain bike. And some brands also offer guided rides, which are so much fun. The terrain here is very diverse and the trails are super great fun. So next time we come, we'll definitely stay a few days longer to enjoy the trails. Testing different brands and frame sizes allows you to find your perfect ride. So I definitely recommend doing that. The ride made us pretty hungry, so we checked out some of the food truck areas afterwards. Spain is not only great for riding, it's also great for eating. Because prices are reasonable and you cannot leave the Costa Brava without having tried patatas bravas. We then went to watch some of the races because there are lots of races going on and even a lot of pros come here to race. You can also participate yourself. So if you're into racing marathon, cross country or trial, here you've got the opportunity. The terrain can get pretty muddy. So the bike wash area is also really, really handy. All over the festival, there are fun shows and events like these trial youngsters displaying the result of years of dedicated practice in a playful fashion. So I'm pretty sure you will not get bored here. That's how day one at the festival ended. Day two started early again with a walk to the bakery. If you speak Spanish and you don't understand a lot of what people are saying here, then that's because everyone here speaks Catalan. 
after a delicious Spanish breakfast with tostada and fresh orange juice, we arrived early at the festival again. We also love to go to festivals to talk to partners and also to connect with new brands. So if you've always wanted to really get to know brands, then festivals are a great opportunity for this. By the way, if you sometimes have bum and hand pain while riding, then stay tuned because I'm going to talk to an ergonomics expert later on. Festivals are also great to touch different types of brakes and components, to ask questions you've always wondered about, and of course to talk to the engineers and developers behind brands to just really get to know stuff that maybe you've always wondered about. Check this out, I found my hubs and I love these hubs because they have 690 points of engagement. Isn't that amazing? It's like super, 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 super tiny little points of engagement, which means that you have like no play whatsoever. It makes skills so much more snappier and it's just so much fun. And I also, I just love the sound. An important part of riding bikes is also nutrition. Often we forget about this, but we cannot run without fuel. So this brand, Mega Raw Bar, is a brand from Mallorca. He uses only organic products and I have known Paolo and his team since he started. I love buying his products, not only because they're delicious and organic, but because I know there's so much love in these products. Next, we visited SQ Lab, who's a longtime partner of mine and who focuses on ergonomic parts, such as saddles, grips, handlebars, and clothing and who also maybe you've already seen it brought out my signature saddle recently explícame por favor mar cómo puede ser porque antes siempre tenía que me han dormido las manos sí. y también a veces um, muchas cosas sí. cómo puede ser que con el sillín y especialmente con cambiar el sillín y la badana sí que estos me gustan porque son no son muy blandas sí. y cómo puede ser que no me duermen ahora las manos sí. solo con cambiar el sillín y la sí. badana. Bueno, eh, tiene que ver varias cosas. Al final la causa es porque todo el sistema nervioso pasa desde la cabeza hasta la punta de los pies y casi el 60 hasta 70% de todos los nervios del cuerpo pasan a través de la pelvis. Es decir, si tú tienes un sillín que con la talla está bien adaptado a ti, ¿vale? Tú tienes una posición correcta, ya no te pinzas algunos nervios y puede ser que que se te hayan dormido los pies o las manos porque te has pinzado algún nervio en la parte de la pelvis. Entonces, en ese momento que tengas un buen sillín, esos problemas podrían desaparecer. Si ya no los tienes o si sigues teniéndolos, ¿vale? tendríamos que mirar también a ver si es la mano o lo que sea, pero si tienes un buen sillín y se te han desaparecido, seguramente hayan venido porque el sillín era demasiado estrecho o demasiado blando. O también puede ser porque demasiado blando, me habías dicho, sí. y esto es también la razón por qué no ten tenéis... Tenemos badanas grande exacto qué pasa si tenemos ahora un sillín ergonómico con la forma vale eh, si ahora le pones una banana que es así de gorda como un pañal por eso tenemos aquí la, la imagen del bebé toda la forma te la quitas otra vez y ya no puede hacer su función entonces queríamos hacer una banana más finita que sea que sea densa que mantenga la forma vale para que no se pierda la forma ergonómica ¿Por qué todas las badanas siempre han sido tan gruesas? Porque antes no era posible hacer una badana fina que sea transpirable. Pero ahora se puede hacer y por eso ahora se pueden hacer más finitas. Vale, perfecto. Muchísimas gracias. Gracias a ti. Esculab has a pretty fancy product and that is they can ergonomically profile you. This means that they measured my body and then they can recommend products and especially recommend the size and form of the product that I can use to prevent both pain, chafing, and of course also numbness. If you suffer from pain, numbness, or chafing while riding, then I definitely recommend visiting an Esculap booth or an Esculap dealer, or just checking their website because they also offer a home measuring kit with which you can measure yourself to find the ideal fit for the saddle, grips, handlebar, and more. A brand for locks I have trusted since years is called Abus Locks and they have a really cool new lock which is the Goose Lock. It's super light and super bendy. So I'm here at Vera Tools, Vera because it's a German brand and you may have already seen these somewhere on social media but they're not only pretty okay. Of course I like them because they're nice and 
colorful, but that is not everything that is about these tools. Because these colors actually have an idea to them because every color is a specific size. That's not all. They have these super, super lightweight, small tools, like this one, for example, where you have tire levers, but also have all little Allen keys with you. So it's actually a super practical thing. You can disassemble it super easily, and you can just stick these little tiny tools in the front of it, and then you have all the different sizes with you because it has these retractable parts to it. So you have all the different Allens and also a Torx with you, and that's in the size of three little tire levers. Where are you gonna find that? So they have all these smart solutions where I was absolutely amazed, so I just wanted to share it with you. This is not a paid promotion. Nothing in this video is being paid. I'm just sharing stuff that I found at this fair and I thought you might like. By coincidence, we ran into this brand, Peak Design. They focus on making products that really work for videographers, photographers, but also for everyone who owns a mobile phone. We talked to these guys and they mentioned something that I wanna share with you because it's something that's been on my mind for a long time. They said they focus on sustainability, but they really do. And they also focus on making products that really work and last. However, then they bring it on the market and then some other people come and copy it. They just copy it without all the research, without all the ideas, without all the heart blood, let's call it, put it pouring into this product. And then they just bring it out on the market, sell it for cheaper and people buy it, of course, because they don't know the history of the product. That's something that I have been thinking about a lot. So I try to buy products that I really know about and I also try to support people who have their own ideas because similar things have happened to me before. I've had other instructors copy paste my website and how are you as the consumer going to know what's really good? So going to these festivals is great because you get to meet the people and you can feel, are they authentic or not? Is this a product I really want to support? Sea Otter Europe, my personal resume, is it worth it? I would say definitely, yes, there's several reasons. First of all, the area here, Girona, is absolutely amazing. Whether it's road biking, gravel biking, or mountain biking, you definitely need to come here. It's an amazing area, and the city is also really beautiful as well. And the festival itself, the entrance is free. Believe it or not, it's free. I don't know how it's gonna be in future, but this year it was free. And there's so much to see and do. You get to meet people you usually only see somewhere on the media. You get to talk to people really behind the brand. You get to hear their stories, like what makes this brand does, is it a fit for you? What makes it unique? Stuff like that. You get to talk to engineers, you get to see the pros. So if you want to find out stuff like that, want to find out and really feel and touch all the new things that go with biking, then do come to this festival and similar ones, I can recommend it. Thanks for watching. Sending you a big hug to wherever you are on the world. Goodbye.